to honor our senior members of our cheerleader squad and basketball team, who over the past four years have committed their time and energy to make Holy Cross a successful program. We applaud their sacrifices and wish them great success in the future. The coaches would also like to thank the parents for their support and sacrifices as well. Now the senior cheerleaders, co-captain Cleotta Kane, escorted by parents Ridvan and Silvana Kane. Co-captain Frankie Casalino, escorted by parents Ron and Mickey Casalino. Captain Lindsay Bernabe, escorted by parents Michael and Lisa Bernabe. Captain Tori Pinchuk, escorted by her mother Kim Pinchuk and grandfather Jeff. And Captain Destiny Jones, escorted by parents Michael and Juanita Jones. Also special is the senior manager of the basketball team, Alyssa Prince, accompanied by her parents, Ron and team mother, Noreen Prince. Brianna and Connor Prince would like to make a special presentation to the senior members of our basketball team. Now for the senior basketball players. First is Captain Kyle Murphy. He's joined by his parents, Chris and Doreen Murphy, and his brother, class of 2004, Devin Murphy. Also, Captain Rob Minetti, his parents Anthony and Lori Minetti, and his brother Mike. And Captain Taekwon Tootie Zimmerman, joined by grandmother Kayla Zimmerman and his uncle Edward Collins. Also, I'd like to recognize his mother, Tina. We salute our seniors in their final regular season home game and wish them the best of luck in all future endeavors. Tonight we have a very special presentation to one of our seniors. I'd like to introduce Mr. Ned Cullinan and Anne Marie Cullinan and their daughter Courtney to present the Lieutenant John Cullinan Sportsmanship Award for the City of Waterbury.
to warm up before the game starts. Thank you. Jefferson Germanson, Lamar Larson, Teron Robinson, Thomas James, for Alan Piccolo's Will Be Wildcats. Tootie Zimmerman, Kyle Murphy, Ryan Cole, Trevor Platt, 
Rob Minetti for the 15 and three Holy Cross Crusaders. Three seniors starting for Holy Cross, one for Wilby along with a couple of sophomores and two juniors. Tremonton with uh, the tip control. And here's Zaquan Nelson. At the top of the key, working against Kolb, who's running the point. He's up high. Nelson tries to penetrate, nowhere to go. Kicks it back out to the left side to James. Once again, Nelson taking their time, working it around the perimeter, uh, perimeter to the foul line. Now three ball on the way, and good from the left side by Thomas James. To the Zimmerman, who's had an outstanding basketball season. Kolb here on the left. Rob Minetti outside right, underneath Kolb, dying inside. Ryan Good. Kolb. Ryan Kolb, and the easy pass around. The Crusaders make it look terribly easy, and it's 3 2 Wilby. Crusaders definitely with the size advantage underneath, and uh, look for them to continue to pound the ball inside all game long. They're Outside defense, a little suspect against the threes, but the Wildcats aren't the best three-point shooting league or team in the league. Zaquan Nelson now gives it over to Jamonson. Now Nelson from NBA range, a three-ball attempt that is no good, and away come the Crusaders. With the fast break, Crusaders try and get it. Kolb underneath, you hear the foul, and he'll go to the line to shoot a pair. You mentioned the three-point uh, shooting Holy Cross uh, as a team this year. Way down in 10th place, allowing 95 threes, but Wildcats shooting the three, uh, seventh in the league with 78, so they're not that effective from outside the arc. Ryan Cole misses the first free throw, and he'll get another one. Second foul shot, steadies. Nice rotation on the ball. Can't get it to go down. Three to two will be as they come into the forecourt. Pressing forward. Look for another three ball, but throw up a running one-hander. Number no, Rebound put up and in by Lamar Larson. And it's five to two. Will be with just about a minute and a half gone by here in the first period. Cody Zimmerman looks to work against Robinson. Now Minetti. And then he comes down the lane, has it knocked away by Nelson, recaptures though, rejected away by Jamonson, and Wilby controls the ball in the forecourt. Jamonson heads it off James. Outside, three ball, knocked away, no good by Nelson, and here come the Crusaders on the move. Cody Zimmerman, oh, so nonchalantly coming down court, has the ball knocked out of his hands and into the crowd, but the Crusaders will retain possession. Taryn Robinson very nearly coming, coming up with a nice steal from behind on that play, but unfortunately for him, the ball out of bounds and back to the Crusaders. Here's Murphy in the right corner, knocked out of bounds again by the quick hands of Jaquan Nelson, out of Tootie Zimmerman's hands. Cole will inbound again for the Crusaders. To Zimmerman, right at the midcourt line, here's Minetti inside the Cole. Ten-footer, tries the lane, no good. Rebound taken away by the Cats on the move. Wow, what a nice move down the lane, but can't get it to go as Nelson. Here come the Crusaders. Minetti wants to push, but the Cats back in nice shape. Inside they go, up and in, no good. Rebound taken away by Battle for, and it will belong to the Holy Cross Crusaders as checking into the game now for the Holy Cross Crusaders is Trevor Platt. Here's the inbounds from Minetti. Goes to Cole, banks it off the glass, no good. Rebound by Nelson of the Wildcats, three on one. Off and no good, rebound taken away by Murphy. Three on one, the Cats could, couldn't get it to go, Steve, but here's the Crusaders with a three on two. They can't get it to go, but Cody Zimmerman follows up and gets it to go down, five, four. Holy Cross, Cats down by one. Cats trying to run the ball the last couple of times and had a couple of Quick breaks and uh, Nelson very quick down court, but both times the uh, Wildcats miss it, missing the layup and coming up empty. Cats in the forecourt. This is Nelson driving down the lane. What a nice pass around bodies, but it's rejected away. The shot taken by James. He had his shot rejected by Kolb, 
and Platt, and now here are the Crusaders. Tony Zimmerman to Kolb at the high post. Gives it over to Murphy. Right side, no good. Kolb the rebound, knocked out of his hands, controlled by Tarek Robinson. He comes down the paint, goes up against all the tall trees, gets tied up, and the possession arrow will stay with the will be Wildcats, and they'll inbound. Wildcats are making a statement. They're, they're trying to penetrate and get to the to the hoop all game long. Well, they're far. quicker. They are quicker than Holy Cross, but Holy Cross is just in really good position. Now the Cats on the right-hand side as Jermonson, Jermosen gets it back outside to Nelson. Now over on the left-hand side is James. Ball on the way. Can't get it to go down. Murphy the rebound. Bounce pass over to Zimmerman who will bring it up court working against Taryn Robinson who gets called for the blocking foul through his chest and hips in the way of Cody Zimmerman. So Taran picks up his first foul, second on the team. Inbounds goes to Minetti on the far side of the court, right hand side. And in the corner, Cody Zimmerman wants to come baseline, has lots of room to work, goes up, gets the call, but wait a minute, we had a turnover, did he step, step on the end line? Yeah, okay. Stepped on the baseline, and so it's a Holy Cross turnover. No basket. 5-4 the score remains with 3.30 remaining in the first period of play. Bob Sagendorf, Steve Gessick, Gordy Woods with you. 13-20 WATR on our Friday night, final Friday night NBL regular season game of the year. We'll be in the forecourt. Here's Nelson penetrating, coming down, has it knocked out of his hands, but right into the hands of his teammate, Lamar Larson. He has four points in the first period. Here's Minetti quickly the other way. Gets the three ball to go down. Minetti, his first three ball of the night. We're tied at seven. This is Nelson for Wilby. Jamonson now left side. Three ball taken by Wilby's James. No good. Zimmerman for Holy Cross. Two Murphy. Ten footer. No good. Rebound taken away off the boards by Larson. Cats want to push it up court. Here they come. Pulling it on the outside over to Jermonson. Now, nice bank shot by Larson. Six points in the period for Larson. He has six of his team's nine points, nine, seven. Will be with 2.30 remaining in the first. Larson only a sophomore averaging under four points per game. So big first period as uh, Cats come up with another defensive rebound. Jermosen with the rebound. Here come the Cats. Jermosen takes a long NBA three ball. No good. Rebound by Cole. Puts it in the hands of Minetti. Bounce pass, a lazy one to Trevor Platt. And he's lucky that Wilby didn't pick it up. He went right into the hands of Murphy, who can't get it to go down. But there's Tootie Zimmerman underneath the clean up. Four points in the period for Zimmerman. We're tied at nine. Cats into the forecourt with two minutes left in the first period. Nelson working against Cole. Gives in the right-hand side. Shot on the way. No good. Trevor Platt the rebound. And away comes Tootie Zimmerman with the rebound. Double team goes up off the glass. Puts it home. Oh, Tootie Zimmerman with a gorgeous play there. And Holy Cross has their first lead at 11-9. Minute 30 remaining here in the first period of play. This is Daquan Nelson for Wilby. Left side, kicked away by Tootie Zimmerman, recaptured by Nelson. And now there's a foul in the backcourt by Tootie Zimmerman. That'll be his first good effort by Zimmerman as he's really bothering Nelson. Good job. He didn't kick the ball away, but actually got his hand on the ball. And that's why no kick was called as uh, Zimmerman almost beat Nelson to the ball and would have had a fast break layup. But, uh, Good also by Nelson to get back and control the ball in the backcourt. All right, now we have uh, substitutions for Holy Cross, but Kino in there and Mike Mallory in for Eddie Generale squad. Got the Cats working in the forecourt. Jamosen comes in with a nice drop step, gets it up to the rim, but no good. Rebound and now traveling called on Cole. That'll give uh, Holy Cross their fourth to second turnover of the period, which has a minute six left in it. And Holy Cross with the lead of 11 to nine. For the Crusaders, Mike Mallory, the freshman who's come on late in the season, uh, has had a couple of big games, including last week uh, against Naugatuck, and uh, averaging over four points per game. Nice dish inside to Larson, who picks up his eighth point of the period. We're tied at 11. 55 seconds left here in the first. And Eddie inside goes to 
Murphy. He gets fouled by Larson. That'll be Larson's second. And that will send Murphy to the line for a pair. Holy Cross thus far in the game, 0 for 2 from the foul line. Murphy's first trip here with 47 seconds left in this first period. Studies, now nice rotation of the ball. Drops in the first one. Now into the game. Adnan Sedjujan into the Wilby roster. Good by Kyle Murphy. Thank you, Steve. Sedjujan in for the first time tonight. Adnan Sedjujan for uh, Alan Piccolo's squad. 13-11 Holy Cross. 35 seconds to go in the period. Tremosin gives it over now. This is Nelson from deep. No good. Rebound. Taken away by David Robinson to Nelson. Top of the key. Sutter steps. Kicks back outside. Robinson. Robinson hands it off. But it's tied up. Now Jamosin. 20 seconds left in the period. Shuffles a little bit but gets away with the movement. Darren Robinson. Now back over to Nelson. Jamosin. Gets it over now to Robinson. Robinson with eight seconds left. Gives it over to Nelson. Nelson gets fouled as he's trying to head toward the basket in the foul coming up on Holy Cross's Cliff Aquino. First on Aquino, second on the team as uh, 4.6 seconds left for the Wildcats here in this first period. Miguel Rios checks in for the Wilby Wildcats. They get the ball inbound. Rios has the ball taken out of his hands by Cody Zimmerman at the buzzer. Air ball. That ends the first period of play. 60 second timeout. Through one period. It's Holy Cross 13. Will be 11. You're listening to NBL basketball on 1320 WATR. I'm Zach Nervous Team Guest and Cordy Woods bringing you tonight's NBL game on 1340 WHR. So good to be back with you on Friday nights, bringing you some high school sports action. Aquino, not sure where he was going to go with that ball, now gives it over to Minetti as the Crusaders work in the forefront. Minetti right in front of us on the left-hand side of the court. Now a shot taken by Holy Cross. That was Mallory trying to get the shot off, but it was rejected away. But the Crusaders retain possession of the ball. First, first period shooting, Holy Cross, 4 of 19, 21%, will be 4 of 10, 40%. Rebounding edge to the Wild or to the Holy Cross Crusaders, 14 to 8, with uh, Zimmerman picking up five of those rebounds. Two on the offensive glass uh, for two of his baskets as uh, he had putbacks on both of them. And really Lamar Larson, the uh, offense for Wilby, isn't it, Steve? He's, he's been there for Wilby uh, scoring six points in the, or eight points in the first period of the 11 for the Wildcats. There's Ryan Cove coming down the paint, dishes it off, and it's rejected away, but Ryan Cove is there. Uh, Trevor Platt is there to clean it up, but they get tied up underneath, and Wilby gets possession of the ball. Cats are scrapping away here, Steve. They've, they've come out, and they've, they're more ready to play this game right now than the Holy Cross in the first period. Yeah. And, uh, they're playing out here. Holy Cross... Uh, Kind of going through the motions at times. I agree with you. And they left side, said to John, now gives it, kicks it back outside to Nelson. Right side it comes over, and now they kick it inside. 
to Miguel Rios. Rios gets the basket to go down. His first points of the night were tied at 13. Rios with the rebound. Away it goes to Juan Nelson, pushing. Numbers, no. Holy Cross gets back. Now outside, Jamoson. Jefferson Jamoson wants to take a shot. Let's everybody go by. Off the back of the rim, no good. Rebound taken away by Aquino. Mallory comes down the lane, puts up a shot, no good. Whistle and the offensive foul called against Mallory as he bangs into Miguel Rios. The combination you're going to hear over the years as both are freshmen. Mike Mallory for Holy Cross and Miguel Rios for Wilby. So they're going to meet each other a few times on the court. Now Miguel Rios is not tall by any means, but he is wide. And that's a big body underneath. He'll be wide and take up some space. And on the other hand of it, you have Seju John, who is not wide, but he is tall, throws up a couple of shots, can't get him to go down. And away comes Holy Cross. This is St. Just. Rashawn St. Just into the game. Tries the left side, nowhere to go. It's Cody Zimmerman working against the defense, nowhere to go. St. Just to the outside, backs it out to the top of the key, centers himself. Now we're ready to go again. A little a little slow pass inside to Ryan Cole, and it has a shot rejected by Sedju John, who gets him again. But this time, they're going to call Sedju John with the foul. Uh, he tried coming from behind to block the second attempt by Cole, and uh, got him with the, the, the hand on the arm, and his first foul, team fourth. So Adnan picks up the foul there, and Steve just a tail for you. Team four, team fouls for the... No, let's correct that. The foul was on Taryn Robinson. T.A. James, excuse me. Not said you, John. So let's correct our book there. As the official came over to the bench and said, let's correct that. First foul shot taken by Cole. This time is good. So Ryan, one of three at the line with three points thus far in the game. And it's 14-13, Holy Cross. Not exactly your light em up basketball game for a Friday night so far. Type of game that Wilby wants. They they only average 54 points or 58 points a game. It's called with the second foul shot. Uh, they would like to keep this game in the 50s. Three ball on the way, no good. It hits the rims a couple of times. Cole gets the rebound, puts it into St. Just's hands. Here comes St. Just down the right hand side, kicks it outside to Cody Zimmerman, who's actually knocked out of his hands, and now we'll get a whistle. And we'll see what the foul is. Juan Nelson picks up his first as a team fifth. Robinson into the game. And Jermoson sits down. Or will be. Here's St. Just now working the ball. Cole at the high post. Holy Cross almost looks like they're playing a triangle offense here. With a high low post and trying to move the ball around. And now we have the ball on Miguel Rios inside. And he was a little bit too fervent with his blocking off of uh, Kyle Murphy on the inside, and he really had the arm around him, was pushing the body pretty good. He, he had his left arm wrapped right around Murphy, and uh, the official on the baseline, uh, Steve Wadarski, Mark, Mark uh, Federillo, and Mike White, the three officials from the New Haven Board 10, uh, made the call and called Reels for the foul. Well, with that foul, Alan Piccolo needs a timeout. He wants to regroup the kids a little bit because they have gotten a little raggy here, Steve, and he wants to get them back full. So they picked up a couple of quick balls. Didn't really look that good on our last offensive series. So it calls a timeout. Does Piccolo get that team together again? And you heard the first whistle, the second whistle about uh, come out. And so there's the second one. Now Holy Cross needs to come out of that huddle, and now they do. Three uh, quick fouls against Wilby, as you mentioned, in, that la in the last minute of the play. It gives them six in the half, or in the half now. So the next foul, Holy Cross will be at the line shooting one and one. It's a 2-2 period so far here. As the second period is now nearly three minutes old. Underneath the ball goes. Cody Zimmerman dishes it off, but it's knocked away by the Cats. And uh, Holy Cross will inbound. Rashawn St. Chuck.
something in the first half of play. Snoozer here at the pitch in Holy Cross High School. Holy Cross now. Swings it around. Inside the Cats come, taken away by Holy Cross. St. Just with the steal, moves it into the right side of the forecourt. Now works it into the corner, Cody Zimmerman in and out on the free ball, but Kolb is there to clean it up and put it down. Ryan Kolb has all four of his team's points here in the second period. He has six points overall, four-point lead for the Crusaders. Nelson rejected away by Kolb to Zimmerman. Zimmerman should be called for an offensive. Oh, good gracious. That very well could have been called and should have been called, in my opinion, an offensive foul because Zimmerman lowered the shoulder and hips and ran into the defender who clearly had established position and is injured down on the floor. But the foul will be up and coming against Wilby. We'll see. It's Robinson. Also, his second foul of blocking foul. Interesting call. Tough, tough way to get your second foul is uh, Robinson looked like he had established position, and he will be coming out with his uh, second foul. This is not come out, but he's going to come out, and checking in will be Alex Perez as Robinson sits down and gets a breather. Always a good thing by a coach to sit the player down after sustaining an injury of any sort, and they uh, take some time out of the court. Zimmerman. Substitution number 20, Lamar Larson. Hits the foul shot. So Tootie with the traditional three-point play. And it's a seven-point lead all of a sudden, Steve, for the Crusaders. The Crusaders have scored the last seven to open up the largest Ooh. lead of the game. It's a Quan Nelson with a nice drive and the scoop move to get his first field goal of the night. Nice pass by Minetti as he penetrates deeply. This is off to Murphy. 22-15, we heat things up a little bit with four minutes to go in the half. Holding Cross with the seven-point lead. Jermosen wants to come to the rack, puts the rock right in the hole. Jefferson Jermosen with his first field goal tonight. And will be now and within five, 22-17. Here's Ryan Cole. We have a foul coming up on Ryan Cole over the back player control file on the rebound. And we'll, we'll see the Ball being inbound by the Wilby Wildcats. Doing the inbounding will be Alex Perez. Two is Aquan Nelson. Nelson tries the left side of the forecourt. Now swings to the center. Brings over to Chamosa. Chamosa on the right side looking. Cross court pass. He brings it over to James. James on the left side. Now over on the right side. Chamosa lets fly three. No good. Rebound taken away by Larson. Larson to second. Period up off the glass, no good. Rebound by Perez, but it's taken right out of his hands by Tootie Zimmerman, who pushes with numbers to Kolb, but the quick whistle and the turnover on the travel by Kolb. Well, that was one time where Kolb was ahead of the field, had a chance, all he had to do was put the ball down once. Went in instead and uh, shuffled his feet, called for a turnover as Holy Cross still leads 22-17. Uh, 318 to play in this first half. Coming up at the half, Courtney Miller-Rayo will get you updated on the latest news. And what will we have in the way of snow tomorrow night? We all got surprised last night. Will we get surprised tomorrow night? Back coming up at the half. Here is Daquan Nelson. Back outside. He kicks it to Robinson. Right side, Jermosen. Wants to fire that three. He finally gets one to go down. He's been trying, Steve. But he finally got one to go down. 22-20. In down the lane, rejected away by Jermosen, but into the hands of Murphy. Back to Cody Zimmerman. Nice pass inside to St. Just. Rejected away by the defense. Rejected away again by Lamar Larson, who this time for the foul. That'll be his third. Uh, he came down with the arm, too, and I, I'm sure that was. Made the officials call the foul. So, came down to slap the ball, came down with his hand, and more often than not, you're going to see that motion, and you're going to call the foul. Scoreless Trevor Platt at the line. His first foul shot to correct it, goes off the back of the rim and bounces forward. Back into the game is Adnan Sedjajan for the Wilby Wildcats, and here's Trevor Platt's second shot. 
Off the back of the rim once again, 0 for 2. Zimmerman, though, gets the rebound. Box is out of trouble. Gets it over here to Minetti on the left. Back to Zimmerman on the right. There's a travel as Zimmerman shuffles everything with a little stutter step as he tried to get going. Six turnovers in the half for the Crusaders. Well, two minutes ago, the Crusaders had a seven-point lead at 20 to 13. Wildcats now with the ball, a chance to tie or take the lead with another three. Tremosin had dreams of a three ball, but pulled it back down. This is Laquan Nelson over to Jermosin. Let's fire that three ball in and out. No good. Rebound, Cody Zimmerman. He's got a number of rebounds tonight, Cody Zimmerman. Here's Minetti. He'll let fly a three. Air ball. Out of bounds. It'll belong to Holy Cross. I've already got Zimmerman for eight rebounds, uh, three on the offensive glass, and five on the defensive end for the Crusaders. Aquino into the game for Holy Cross. Sitting down will be Rashawn St. Just. Aquino to inbounds, gets the inbounds to Murphy, who puts it up off the glass and in. Six points on the night for Kyle Murphy. It's a four-point lead for Holy Cross at 24-20. Under two minutes to play in the first half. Going inside against all the big boys is Thomas James. He'll get fouled and head to the line to shoot a pair. 155 left in the half. St. James to go to the period, to uh, the fall line. Kyle Murphy picks up his first foul. And here's James at the line. First ball shot is good. As we mentioned, the Wildcats are not afraid to get in there against the big fellas. Uh, hasn't worked well in the only five fouls called against Holy Cross as they've been able to alter shots and block shots all night long without picking up too many personals. Teron Robinson into the game, out of the game, replaced by Miguel Rios. As James attempts his second ball shot, can't get it to go down. Murphy with the rebound. 150 remaining in the half. It's a three-point lead for Holy Cross at 24-21. Bob Sackner, Steve gets it. Jordy Woods with the WTR. He just threw something up, hoping it would go in as he got bodied off the ball, and it went down. 26-21. Holy Cross. This is Nelson. Over on the right side to James. Nelson. Key to the foul line, bounce past Jamosin. Jamosin comes baseline, throws up a prayer, no good. Trevor Platt the rebound, taken away, and recaptured though by Minetti. Minetti gets it to Aquino. Aquino loses the ball out of bounds. The last touch by Miguel Rios, and Holy Cross retains possession. Good defense by Miguel Rios that time to uh, recover and the long court pass, uh, the full court pass by the Crusaders and make a defensive stop. Aquino with the three in and out. Rebound taken away by Saquon Nelson against Tootie Zimmerman. Goes up off the glass. Can't get it to go down. Zimmerman away with the rebound. He wants to go one against two. He gets fouled and it counts. Wow. Tootie Zimmerman with the field goal. And Jefferson Jermosen with the foul. And Zimmerman goes to the line to complete the second possible second three-point play of the period. Sir Daryl Johnson now checking in the will be lineup. You know, one thing that you notice about Alan Piccolo, Steve, he uses everybody. He has. He, he's got a young team, and he's getting everybody in there quality minutes here in this first half as uh, Zimmerman hits the foul shot to give the Crusaders their largest lead, 29-21. 12 points for... Cody Zimmerman, 12 of his team is 29. Here's uh, Sir Darrell. Gives it over to Jermosin. Now Sir Darrell Johnson gives it over. Nice stutter step. And here's Jermosin, three ball. Good. Jefferson Jermosin with his second three of the period. 29-24, Holy Cross with the four-point lead. Jermosin the leading three-point threat for the Wildcats at 17 on the season coming into tonight's game. 20 seconds left in the period in the half and uh, Eddie Generale, I'm looking at him right now, he says 15, let it go. When it starts at 15, start to work, and now they start to work at 13 seconds to go. Here comes Minetti out to greet Zimmerman. Minetti wants to work the ball with eight seconds left. Looking for Zimmerman, comes over to Rio, to Aquino. Aquino with two seconds, goes up off the glass, puts it in! Wow! Cliff Aquino with the key move, and the defenders all just kind of looked at each other and said, what happened there? 
But be that as it may, it's 31 24 at the half. Steve got the game over. That was late in that period for the Holy Cross Crusaders uh, as they open up the seven point lead at the half. That will do it for the first half of play. Stay tuned. Courtney Miller will get you up to date on the latest news and weather. And Steve Gessick and I will be back with halftime after that. Your halftime score from the Holy Cross High School. It's the 15 and 3 Holy Cross Crusaders leading the 6 and 12 Wilby Wildcats by a score of 31 to 24. You're listening to NBL Basketball on 1320 WATR. Percent from the three-point goal line, they're shooting three for 12. 25 percent from the foul line, they're shooting one for two. 50 percent. Score by periods. Holy Cross South scored will be 13 to 11 in the first quarter. In the second quarter, Holy Cross come back and outscored will be 18 to 13 to take a seven seven point lead, 31 to 24. In the turnover department, Holy Cross has six turnovers compared to nothing for will be. Personnel in foul trouble for Holy Cross. All one fouls apiece. Tootie Zimmerman, Kyle Murphy, Ryan Kolb, Mike Mallory, and Cliff Aquino have one apiece. For the Wilby Wildcats, Jaquan Nelson has one. Jefferson Jamoson, two. Lamar Larson, three. Teron Robinson, two. Thomas James, two. And Miguel Rios has one. Personnel used in the first half by Wilby. Ten players were used. Eight by the Holy Cross Crusaders. Now back to Bob and Steve. Gordy, thanks very much. And Steve, before I comment on the turnovers by Wilby or lack thereof, I want to say a very special thank you to Dave Grant and Ali Vestro sitting in the last couple of weeks substituting for you and I. Was, uh, you, we had to go under some uh, health repairs, so to speak. Uh, we want to thank the big guy and Ali for sitting in for us and doing a nice job, and we are very appreciative to them. Wilby, no first half turnovers. I don't think we've seen that. I, I, I can't remember ever seeing that yeah. you know, where a team, uh, no, for, no turnovers in a half of play is. Uh, Holy Cross has fallen back in in defense and not pressured the uh, Wildcats, but you know, the Wildcats have come down court fast break a few times, and you would think that they would turn the ball over at least once. Yeah, not at all. That's, wow. I don't know if I've ever, I don't remember that at all happening. Uh, but we'll see if they can go through the game without any turnovers. Now that's the second. Can they do it in the second half? We'll wait and see. I was have to say, if they, if they have the ball to start the second half, let's see what happens on the first possession. <laughs> <laughs> Sports, sportscasters jinx, right? Yeah, really. 31-24, Holy Cross has the lead here up at the pit. Uh, in Orono Grove to Holy Cross High School. Bob Sagendorf, Steve Gessick, and Arte God Edward Jr. Bringing you the action tonight. All right, here's Minetti for Holy Cross. Zimmerman left side, Murphy inside, rejected away by a host of Wilby players. Nelson comes away with a nice pass ahead. Throws up the shot, does Thomas Janes. He can't get it to go, but he'll go to the line for a pair. And Tootie Zimmerman gets called for his second ball. What a pass by Zaquan Nelson. Great, great, a lot of quickness and uh, the ability to drive the lane. Mm -hmm. Little small, but a sophomore uh, has some time to grow. Well, he's at the point, Steve. And, you know, Anthony Ireland showed you don't have to be tall to run a good point. First foul shot, as we said, good by James. Second foul shot, and bangs around and is no good. Six-point lead, Holy Cross to 31-25. to Second half just underway. Here's Ryan Kolb at the top, comes down the lane, throws up the shot, puts it in. You know, I just love the way they play that high post with Kolb, and he can just pass all over, pass all over. Hey, there's a three ball. By James. By James. Very nice by James, who now has eight points tonight. Holy Cross is almost daring Wilby to beat you from the outside, as they have a lot of teams with their defense inside as Holy Cross turns the ball over. There is a steal by Zaquan Nelson. He lays it up and in, and now within three are the Wildcats, 33-30. Here's another interception by, Holy, by Wilby. There's that, your first turnover <laughs> of the game for Wilby. As they, you know, they, they come up with a nice steal and try to create something on the fast break, and the pass is a little bit too far out of the reach of the Wildcats. Now, those of you listening at home and are familiar, have the 
real knowledge of basketball, so to speak, and understand how the L.A. Lakers, ex the Chicago Bulls, play the triangle offense. Holy Cross is very similar to what they're running offensively, they're running the triangle. Ryan Kolb is the high post, and off of him, the point guard tries to get into his hand, and off of there, they triangulate to where the open man is to find best to get the ball. And, you know, I didn't, never thought I would see something that close to the triangle in high school because it's very difficult to do, but Holy Cross is close to running it. Here is Kolb with a three ball on the way. Trevor Platt, the rebound, knocked out of his hands, though, by James. James pushes, comes right down the lane with a scoop move, no good. Rebound taken away by Murphy. Whistle and the foul behind the play call by James on the push. Interesting call away from the ball and away from the play. Thomas James get called for his second foul. Inbounds it goes to Minetti. Minetti in the corner to the Zimmerman. Squares up, fires, no good. Cole, the rebound, throws it up. He's rejected away by the Willby defense. Here's the pass. Minetti steals, gets it back inbounds to Zimmerman. One against two, goes up against all kinds of folks, but he travels. And that'll be number nine in turnovers against Holy Cross. One against Wilby, if you can believe it. Two against Wilby now, sorry. If you can believe it. All right, Jermosin wants to fire a three, a line drive shot, no good. Rebound, battled for in the corner. Taken down by the Wildcats, Lawson who goes up for the shot, no, but he'll go to the line to shoot two. Eight points in the game for Larson. He had them all in the first period, a very quiet second period, but now he gets a chance to get on the board here in the third. Well, Wildcats right now just out hustling the Crusaders Absolutely. every loose ball. Yep. First foul shot, good. You know, one of the neat things about being here in the Holy Cross Gymnasium is the legacy. What do I mean by that? Well, as I look over to my right, I see Jim Harris. I saw Jimmy show before, and Mike Phelan. Jimmy McDonald. And Timmy McDonald. Second foul shot is good. But you look at Harris, Chauve, and Phelan, there are the only three head football coach, and Charleglio, the four football coaches Holy Cross has had, they're all in the gym tonight. Minetti with the shot, no good. Zimmerman the rebound, pulls it down, throws up the shot, no good. Rebound taken by Minetti, goes up the shot, no good. Throws it up to Platt, no good. Rebound taken away by Wilby, no good. Kolb loses the ball, out of bounds. And the Crusaders working hard off the glass, retain possession. Well, that's pretty cool legacy, Steve. It is. Uh, you know, obviously, uh, many schools can't. What a steal by, Zip, by Zaquan Nelson who puts it up and in. Go ahead, Steve. I'm sorry. So, you know, Holy Cross in their 36 years or outs of existence. That's it for the coaching and the, the football. And the, Tim McDonald, uh, one of the legends and longtime basketball coaches here as well. Stolen away by the Wildcats right out of the hands of Murphy. Rejected away by Murphy, though. And now thrown away as the Wildcats moving a little bit too quickly. Taron Robinson not ready for it. Three turnovers now against the Wildcats. 34-33. We forgot to mention that in our conversation. That, that Wilby's Will taking the lead. Wilby's regained the lead. The second lead change of the game as the Wildcats have battled back and outscored the Crusaders 10-2 to, to start this third period. Inside it goes to Minetti. Can't get it to go down. Rebound tapped up and in by Ryan Kolb, who has 10 points tonight. Holy Cross with the 35-34 lead. 4.45 left in the third. Here is Jaquan Nelson. Tremosen right side, back to Nelson. Nelson wants to penetrate, comes down the lane, throws up a running one-hander, good. Jaquan Nelson, six points in the period, eight for the game. Will be with the 36-35 lead. Three ball on the way by Murphy, good. Kyle Murphy with his first three ball of the night. 38-36, Holy Cross. Back and forth we go. A little bit of a seesaw game working here. Here's a three ball on the way by the Wildcats. No good. James took that shot. Rebound taken away by Murphy. Saquon Nelson behind the back to the center of the court. Comes down across the midcourt line. Dishes off left side of Benetti. No good with the three ball. But right there to clean it up is Cole. No good. Fouls it up. He'll get fouled. And he'll go to the line. 
And we'll see who they call this on underneath. It'll be called on Saquon Jefferson Jamoson. Can't really tell the way the official gave us the three. He gave a three, and they're like, did he stutter with that three for a 33, or was it or just, was a, just three? a three? Yeah, right. And it was a 33 as a first foul shot by Kolb around and out. No good. So Kolb is two of five at the line so far tonight. Four minutes left in the third period of play. 38-36. Holy Cross with a two-point lead. Kolb now with his second shot. Steadies. Rotation on the ball is nice, and he swishes it home. 39-36, the three-point lead, but here's Willby quickly into the forecourt. Saquon Nelson thought of the three, dishes it back outside. Jermosen not afraid to shoot three. Rebound taken down by James. He's rejected away, and he thought he was fouled, looked for the foul. Officials not giving it to him, but they will tell him, you can inbound the ball, you inbound the ball young man. And does inbound it. Now Zaquan Nelson out the top of the key. Over on the right side. Now Nelson gets the ball back. James to Nelson, top of the key. Can't get it to go anywhere else. Good defense by Holy Cross. They kick it back outside. Jamosen kicks it over to Nelson. He'll fire a three. He'll get it to go down. Nice ball movement by the Wildcats. Excellent. Excellent ball movement. We're tied at 39. Steve, lead changes a half a dozen so far? Five, five lead changes, four ties thus far. Kolb overhead pass to Minetti on the right-hand side. Comes down to the paint. Fires up a shot from the foul line. Gets the shooter's roll. Rob Minetti, just five points tonight. 41-39. Holy Nelson penetrates. Now wants to go down. Trip and foul up. No good. And the ball goes out of bounds. Wilby retains possession. Zaquan trying to push a little bit too much there. A little bit as the uh, Crusaders have packed in the defense a little bit more. And uh, the, the lanes that he had in the first half to penetrate and drive to the hoop, he's not finding thus far here in the second half. Here's the inbounds to Jermosen. Fakes it. Now comes down the lane. Goes up against all the big guys. Nowhere to be found is the basket. Still and a dual foul underneath. Foul coming up on Wilby's Lamar Larson. That's his fourth, Steve. Uh, that's, a, that's a huge loss for the Wildcats as Larson's going to have to go out as Cedric John comes back in. Uh, they, they need the height out there as uh, they've been dominated off the glass. First half was 29-14 rebound edge for Holy Cross, and uh, they've doubled up once again here in this period in, in rebound. Cliff Aquino into the game for Eddie Generali's Crusaders. Minetti's ball no good. Follow up by Cole, no good. Rebound underneath Murphy, no good. Tapped away. Here comes Wilby on the run. Pushing. Now James with a nice no look, but it's taken away by a beautiful takeaway by Mallory. Mallory just stole it right out of James's hands. Here's Minetti launches a three, no good. But there's a whistle and a foul. And Minetti goes to the line for three foul shots. That's what John tried to get out there in the defense against the shooter and uh, contact with the body and Minetti at the line shooting three with the Crusaders holding out to this two point lead. You might have heard uh, Alan Pickle just yell out to Adnan said to John, what are you doing out there? You're in there to rebound. So <laughs> it's a good point by the coach though. Said to John checks in at a good 6-4. First foul shot by Minetti is good. 42-39 Holy Cross with a three point lead. Second foul shot. And then he steadies. Gets it to go down. 43-39. Holy Cross. 2.20 left in the third period to play from the Holy Cross Gymnasium. You listen to NBL basketball for the 62nd consecutive year on 1320 WHR, Waterbury, Connecticut. Third foul shot is good by Minetti. I'm Bob Sagendorf along with Steve Gessick and Gordy Woods. So glad you've joined us at 8 o'clock in the East on this Friday night, and along the listening lines at WATR.com, wherever you might be in our great country, welcome to our broadcast. Here is a nice drive by Jermosen. Can't get it down. Follows up his shot and gets 10 points on the night for Jermosen. 44-31, Holy Cross. Inside, Aquino goes. Can't get it to go down. Battle for it. Cole puts it up. No good. Battle underneath and now tied up. And the ball should belong to Wilby. And will it? Let's see. Coming out of the game will be Thomas Chains. And oh, will be, will be. retain possession of the ball. Taryn Robinson to inbound. They will get the ball down. 
33, 148 to play in the period. Uh, Wildcats with a chance to possibly tie with another three-pointer. So here is Zaquan Nelson looking as he gets into the hands of David Robinson. Back to Zaquan Nelson. Nelson now double teamed, looking for someone to pass it to. Gets it. Now Robinson now over now in the deep corner. Robinson fires. 